He'll bat for Bobby Brown. Now back, high fastball. If pictures tell the story, look at the Padres. ball to Trammell. Bruce Boshi, born in France, 29-year-old. He's the backup catcher to Terry Kennedy. Fastball. This is just a gesture by Williams, I'm sure, to get him into the World Series. Something to tell the kids. On one. Eight four Tigers. One out, ninth inning. Curveball and he hit it foul, but he had a good rip at it. 0 oh 2. One of the few curveballs we've seen Hernandez throw. And the Tigers, two outs away from the bubbly. That's Aurelio Lopez without the hat. Boshi off the bench, singles to left. And the Padres, one last chance to fight back. Ron Renicky, the brother of Baltimore's Gary Renicky, gets a chance to get in the World Series. In 81, he had hurt his ankle and couldn't play in the Dodger Yankee World Series. This year, he wasn't eligible until Mick Reynolds hurt his wrist. So you see, fate has a way of evening up, I guess. And here's Wiggins. Ball one. From day one of the season, the Tigers have been in first place. Incredible team. Incredible year. And this is the capper. away one out ninth inning Fernandez with the luxury of a four run lead Scroogey that stayed very high and ran away. One out, ninth inning. Fastball popped in the air. Lands Paris. Again, we'll take you into the locker room after this game if the Tigers hold on to any part of this four-run lead. And the way this crowd is going, we're just going to be quiet and let you listen and enjoy it to your heart's content. Johnny Grubb preparing for the onslaught took his cap off and put it in his shirt. And that's why most of them have their caps off. They'll be running out there. Fans love to get even Krasuski. He doesn't like to take his hand off. He hasn't got that much grass.
technology that excites the senses by IBM and the growing family of IBM personal computers and by Light Beer from Miller, an official beer sponsor of Major League Baseball. More about today's game in a moment. We'll be back after these messages from your local station. This one, vintage 1984, Tiger Stadium in Detroit, home of the world champion Detroit Tigers. And with that, let's go to the champion's locker room and to Bob Costas. All right, Ben, thank you very much. On the platform, the new commissioner of baseball, Peter Uberoff, the former owner, longtime owner of the Tigers, John Fetzer, the new owner of the ball club, Tom Monahan, the manager, the first to win championships from both leagues, Sparky Anderson, the MVP of the series, Alan Trammell, for the presentation of the championship trophy, the commissioner. It was great baseball, a great team, and it's a pleasure to give this trophy to the chairman of the board, or maybe of all of baseball, John Fetzer. John? Uh, well, this is uh, the climax of 28 years of running the ball club, and I've just loved every minute of it. I love all the guys that are here, and I want to tell you right now, I'm happy to turn this cup over to Tom Monahan as the new owner of the Tigers, and Tom, I hope you'll win a lot of them as the next 30 years goes to you. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Fetzer. I, uh, uh, the one thing I feel right now is a tremendous uh, gratitude to you for giving me this great opportunity, and I'll, I'll be forever grateful. This is your team. Uh, this, this should be your trophy. I love all of them out there, and these boys are all your boys from now on. You take them, and you go all the way with them every year you can. Oh, I want you around. <laughs> I'll be here as long as I can. Oh, you'll be here a long time. Let's turn now to Sparky Anderson. 104 victories in the regular season, Sparky. You had on the postseason, you lost only one. The composite is 111 and 59. Bobby, I don't care about none of that. The only thing I care is the public could see, to me, one of the most class teams and people that I've ever been around. The young man that won the most valuable player, I say it, I don't care what nobody said. He's the best player in baseball. We fell that way. That's what we're going to say. He deserves everything. And every when Alan speaks, he speaks for this team. I'll see you later. <laughs> Sparky will be back. I think there's a phone call waiting for him eventually. We'll turn to Alan Trammell. Nine for 20, including a couple of homers, the MVP. Well, thank you, Bob. Uh, I'll tell you what, I wish we could divide it up between all of us. I know that Jack was very deserving, Kurt Gibson. It's one of these things that everybody's been contributing for our ball club. I just happen to have a good series, but uh, it's divided among all of us, that's for sure. Alan, yesterday's ball game. That had to be the thrill of a lifetime. The two two-run homers, the four RBIs. There's no question, but this is even special. Right here, this is what it's all about. We're going to get that ring. This is the most important day of my life. I'm going to celebrate. Let's see if we've got the telephone ready. Are we set with the call? We are. Can we get Sparky Anderson back up here? Sparky. Jim Campbell, the president of the ball club, is also here. And on the line, I believe, the president of the United States. Sparky. Mr. President, I know, I know that you are a great Cubs fan, but I know if you've seen these kids, you'd be a Tiger fan. Mr. President. But if you knew around these Tigers, you'd love them more. Tremendously difficult to hear the country. Oh, I'll tell you what. Now we'll get down to some hard rooting. We'll return to the Tiger Clubhouse in just a moment. Stay with us. Talk to our It's a bit more subdued. I'm with Tony Gwynn, who was the Majors leading hitter this year. And Tony, I think everybody wants to know about that key play in the fifth inning. Did you lose the ball? Did yeah. you pick it up? You lost I it. I lost. Uh, as soon as the ball got up over the stands, I lost it. And, uh, and Wiggy had a long way to go to get it. And once he got it, you know, he really couldn't really plant himself and throw because Gibson could run down the line. And, you know, we couldn't get anything on it. And, and I, I hate that it turned out to be the key play in the game, but that's what happened. Can you sum up your feelings about this club and what happened over this five-game series? Well, I think we're disappointed because uh, I really don't believe we played like we were capable of playing, but you know, nobody really expected us to be here. And, 
you know, there are 24 other teams sitting at home watching this, and we had an opportunity to play in it. We didn't play well, but, uh, you know, we got to keep our heads high because we had a heck of a season this year. And, uh, you know, sure, we'd love to have won it, but we didn't. So uh, I guess we have to work a little bit harder next year. Okay, congratulations on the fine season and the batting championship. Okay, time. thank you. Okay, let's go back to Bob Costas now in the Tiger locker room. Bob? All right, Lenny, thanks very much. In case you couldn't hear it earlier over the din, the MVP is Alan Trammell with his 9 for 20 and his two home runs. But either one of these guys could have gotten it too. Jack Morris, a couple of victories in your first World Series. The throw, the weight, the work, it's all worth it. This is uh, the greatest moment of my baseball career. I'm just so proud of all these guys right here because without their help, I wouldn't be here. And I just really feel great about it. There were a few low moments during an otherwise terrific season for you. This has to make it a sweet ending. Well, this is what I planned all spring. I, you know, I made a few statements early in the year, but it's only showed the confidence that I had in this ball club. The greatest thing about it is we were able to come through and win it all. Jack, congratulations. It off. We're the best in the world. We're the world champions. And it just says a lot about the great guys. And uh, I hear about the MVP is Alan Trammell. Uh, you know, people don't realize Alan Trammell's been playing hurt all year. He's going to have to have surgery on his knee, and they're going to have to go in and look on his shoulder. So I'd personally like to congratulate Alan Trammell. It just shows the kind of makeup that we have uh, and kind of ball players. Right? By the Detroit Tigers, and I guess it's appropriate enough to say to this room full of happy Detroit ball players, bless you boys, you're the 1984 world champions. <laughs> Boy, he has seen as many thrills in baseball World Series play as any man alive. And that would be our coordinating producer, Harry Coyle. The World Series has been produced. Boy, has it ever been produced. And a roll of drums, a top of the cap, and a low bow from the waist to our producer, George Finkel. Directed by Harry Coyle. There were so many people involved, not just with the production of one game, but every day, in the wee small hours, all the way back up to the other side of the clock. There are over 250 people whose names are being listed, and there are even more than that behind the scenes who made vital contributions. And as if it's a fitting climax to the hopes of a fine young San Diego Padre team, it is raining in Detroit. The free game, all of the juicy anticipation that we shared with you, both the great moments from the past and the prospects of things to come, produced so very well by Les Dennis. And the free game and the replay, giving us those wonderful moments again and again so that we could study them for the sheer delight of just looking at great baseball. That would be director Andy Rosenberg. The replay producer, Kenneth Edmondson. You talk about technical work. Imagine the work that takes place in two different ballparks from the West Coast almost to the East Coast. Well, the technical director in charge of equipment and manpower, Lenny Stucker. And the replay technical director. The replay of the fly ball to right field, of Gibson tagging up. Uh, Gary Templeton standing in front of second base. So many great moments replayed. Hats off to our technical director, Bill Tilton. And how about the 25 Tigers with the manager, Sparky Anderson, his pitching coach, Roger Craig, his baseline coaches, Dick Trususki and Alex Kramitz, coach Billy Consolo, he and Sparky were kids on the sand lot eight years old, and they climbed to the pinnacle in baseball fortune. And the hitting coach, Gate Brown. And hey, don't walk away from this series without saluting the comeback kids from San Diego. 
They went down. They have a man on every shot they had. Dick Williams and his fine staff. Norm Sherry is pitching coach. And his baseline coach here. Jack Crow, Archie Virgil. To the Deacon, Deacon Jones. And to the 25 who wore the brown and gold so well throughout the year. Who won the division. Down on their knees, battle back to win three straight against the Cubs and beat the outstanding pitcher in the National League after spotting in three runs. How about them Padres as well? And how about baseball and the World Series? Next on NBC, Knight Rider, followed by V, the final battle. That's all tonight right here on NBC. So whatever you do, don't go away. In the rain at Tiger Stadium, one of the brightest moments in Tiger history as they defeat the Padres 8-4 and become the world champions of 1984. For Joe Garagio, this is Ben Scully, wishing you a very pleasant good evening. Come to think of it, have a great year. The World Series is a special presentation of NBC Sports, the leader in innovative sports television.